SRS HQ is in the so a lot of shit happened. So now people still think now that Sig is the one involved in the bombing. And that's a problem here. Okay, I'm here. Do we have a plan? We're here to find some documents we're calling the Malik dossier. Basically, it's the paper trail that proves Malik was behind the Canada House bombings. The problem is, these documents won't be on one computer. They'll be on dozens, scattered across the country. So how do we handle this? Well, that's the million dollar question, isn't it? Let's have Malik take it. CERN uses a supercomputer called Filament to process information drawn from the CTOS network. It's like Noodle, if you could use it to search every document on every civilian, government or commercial device everywhere in the United Kingdom, instantly. You glorious robot. Break in and connect Bagley to a Filament administrative terminal. He'll do the rest. As usual. All right. Boom. Oh, Seam is here too. Okay, we have that guy over here as the key. Look behind. Take the key. Fuck. And oh, bro, this is move. She just like bam, bam, baboozle her. Let's go. Let's go up then. And I can't go from here. can I go on? Also, I have some tech points. So should I get this? Hijacked. Well, that's gonna be useful, I think. I just think. Now, let's go up. Access oh, the filament there admin is. terminal from Never your optic bypass. interface. You'll have to align the SIRS satellite network with my packet stream from Bloom Tower. Like this. Where is this? E That's enough to do. No, that's not all I have to do. Yeah, that's a lot to do. That was an easy one. Well done. Now I should be able to stream myself into SIRS's nasty little snoop computer. Head to the basement and hack the filament admin terminal. There's an intruder in the building security systems. I don't... Sorry. The channel is being hacked. I've taken control of building security. Oh, but my I'd prefer to end this bloodlessly if you're willing to listen to reason. Don't fucking listen. Zero Day took over Parliament security right before the bombings. This is their M.O. What are you talking about? I want dead set gone, but no one else needs to die. You've proven yourselves very skilled, and I could put those skills to use. Join me. You can still make something of your lives. Join Zero Day! 
I'd rather join Albion. Zero day? No, I mean sirs. You've practically been working for me anyway. And besides, we have a lot in common. We both use violence and manipulation to shape London into something better. What the fuck? They all came back. The only back. difference is I know what I want it to be. Strong, stable, unified, safe. Yeah, Bobo. This is what I value. What about you? Don't you fucking dare lecture me about ideology, you fascist prick. Fine. If we can't convince each other, then I suppose killing will have to do. Oh, y'all hate me, huh? You also hate me now. Looks like now I can go up. Yes, use the elevator. Go. That central server is Billiman's admin terminal. Connect me to it to gain access. All right, let's connect. deployed the microwave drones I'm sorry what microwave drones one of filaments novel intrusion countermeasures they use little microwave cannons to selectively destroy oh, yeah. compromised hardware sort of like chemotherapy for computers the server room automatically seals itself while they're deployed any ideas try hijacking one of the microwave drones and use it to shoot the other ones down destroy microwave drones you mean these guys You're dead. These doors are sealed until you take out the microwave drones. Boom, there goes a the drone. Alright, he's dead. This one guy here thinking he's a pro. Ideas? A full power cycle will reset his connection and give us enough time to complete the intrusion. But filament uses three quantum processors with independent power. We'll have to reboot each individually. So we're gonna unplug it and plug it back in. Close enough. Okay, reboot the filament server. Down there, and 
down in those here. Uh oh. Hey, hey. Can you do something about this drone? It can't seem to take a fucking hit. Down. Would you look at this? A chain of custody documents for 40 kilos of Semtex. It ricochets through a dump cell company, but ultimately ends up registered Whoa. to an address in Southall. And would you guess who lived across the street from it for 30 years? Victoria and Imran Malik, parents to what Richard. That doesn't prove a thing. Fuck off, you stupid. Oh, fucking hell, bro. Alright, the dose here is downloading. Well, this one is heartwarming and incriminating. It seems that the areas of Canada House immediately around the bomb were evacuated in an unscheduled drill. Execute. I have an email chain here between the facilities director and an anonymous SIRS account. Funny that didn't make the news. You think it's incriminating that I try to minimize the loss of life? Come on, that's so spinnable and motion sick. All right, there's Can one you here. Shoot this drone down? I'm asking politely to go away, but I'm afraid I don't speak dipshit. Right. Right, they're gone. This white boy's drone has been hanging around so long I've given her a name. I'd like you to meet Ada. Would you mind killing her? Okay. Man, these fucking ass drones. Look at this. It's an unredacted mission report for two SRS agents instructed to plant explosives as part of a training exercise, and it's signed right. and dated by the Home Secretary himself. Seems it's a bad day to be the secretary. I'm putting this guy down. Please stop this microwave drone. He stopped, but another one just pops in. Please stop this microwave drone. Exciting! Did you know that the head of security for Canada House had a daughter stuck in a Cairo jail, and that she was pardoned the week before the explosion? Why, he would certainly owe a very, very big favor to the SRS officer who pressured the Egyptians, wouldn't he? I suppose he would. Seems that Malik's given up having the microwave drones destroy compromised hardware. Now he's got them targeting you. The effect will be about the same, though. Boom. What do we have here? Straight from your own laptop, Malik. Case files on all these little side oh, shit. you running. Honestly, you might as well have well, fucking hell. bomb conspiracy, Doc Doc. Fucking That's dick. Enough. You can't do this. You mustn't do this. I won't allow it. Boom. Independent power has been rebooted. Return to the central core to complete the cycle. Nice work, Bagley. Now let's smash this fascist. Into the filament. Integrated with filament, and it seems Malik didn't quite have time to cover his tracks. I believe I can trace his position. Get him. 
All right, let's find you. Too old, too young, too ugly, too female. Ah, there he is. Hello, Malik. You've been disconnected. Is it just me, or does he look constipated? Right. Wouldn't be a briefcase wanker without his briefcase. Oh, look. Seems someone's locked the door on him. Don't worry, there's no way that's going to... Oh, no, it worked. Oi! What the hell, mate? Well, that's a wrinkle, isn't it? Is he seriously going to try to get away in a car? A car connected to the city-spanning network of automated surveillance devices? That I control. Auto drive now enabled. Fuck! Hello again. You know, for all your scheming, you don't exactly think quickly Fuck. under pressure. Be on. All right, so we're out. A new mask. So what now? And I have 20k. I oh, set wow. the 15 only. I'm gonna get a lot of tech points, and then we will be getting this. Uh, no, not lower. The dossier to every media outlet, from the GBB to the Avarice with Sheep Farmers Gazette. It may take some time to sort through, but it ought to clear Dead Sex name. At least for this particular thing. What about Malik? Made the mistake of getting into a self-driving car that owed me a favor. It's taking him to a secure location. Can someone explain why we aren't having that car drive straight into the river? Believe me, I'd love to. But he might be part of Zero Day. I just don't know how this all fits mm, together. All the wrong but we need way. to find oh. out. Clean robot, slow down! Okay, the mission is complete. Mission complete, the Malik Dozier. Dozier. Next mission. Malik has been secured at the safe house. All right. Well, now that we have him, we should talk to him. Find out what he knows about Zero Day. Just don't get too close to him, all right? As long as he's alive, he's a threat. At the safe house. It was our safe house? Oh, yes. What is this here? A war reporter. Chess grandmaster. This chess guy having a freaking gun is going crazy. Interrogate Richard Malik. There he is. We know you false flagged Canada House, Malik, and we know you had a hand in the earlier bombings, too. Tell us everything. The earlier bombings? What are you? Oh. God, I've been captured by morons. I didn't do those bombings. I tried to stop those bombings. I am a patriot, and they called me a crank, even Emma. But that's when I knew that intelligence wasn't enough. To save the Empire, I would need power, and fast. So how did you know about Zero Day before contacting us? I'm a spy, so yes. I knew a few details about the biggest terrorist attack in recent memory. Truth to tell, I really did think Zero Day was you. That's just Occam's razor. But if you insist on a conspiracy, Albion stood the most to gain. Have you really not thought of this? Yeah, we've been down that road. Meanwhile, you're rot in here. You've done more than enough to deserve it. Oh, I doubt I'll be here long. 
These walls will fall along with all of you soon enough. This radical cooperative you created is doomed to fail, like they all are. I've seen it a dozen times in a dozen places. You will tear yourselves apart. You won't even need Zero Day or Albion or whoever. A single unified ideology, a single strong leader. These have been the characteristics of power for all of human history. Democracy and pluralism were anomalies, blips on the timeline. That's what you are, dead sec. A footnote in the history of the Empire. But now the page is turning, and you are not ready for what happens next. All right. Trophy on Hacker Taylor. Oh, we completed the SIRS chapter. Albion chapter started. True colors. Now we're gonna put Albion down. Restoking the fire. You'll like this. Got word from Hamish that Nigel Cass is planning to unveil some new nasty project at a press conference. And why would I like that? Albion's always got some nasty plan going. Because Hamish has convinced his Albion contact to talk to us. Apparently it took some doing since Radu's a squirrely sort. He's been especially agitated lately. But he has insider information we could use. The meetings at the Drowning Post. Wouldn't mind a drink while we plan how to give Nigel Bloody Cass a black eye. Alright, meet the Albion informant. Where is this Albion informant? Oh, okay. Forces within the organization claim that Richard Malik himself has fled the country one the following what AI one described driving. as an unprecedented and humiliating data breach. As more of the dossier is independently verified, counter terror experts speculate that the bombings earlier this year may have also been misattributed to DedSec. Because they did. Let's go. Restoking is the fire. Oh, it's this girl. This is the no place. Way. Where's our informant? Bad news from Hamish. His contact is right. Impairing our frontal lobe again, are we? It would take a lot more than this to do that. The attack occurred just as Albion CEO Nigel Cass was announcing a new security... Turn up the telly, system. mate! Our cameras captured video of the attack, which some viewers may find disturbing. Without their tireless work, we couldn't have rolled out these checkpoints. Watch out! 43C. Engage contact right. Aim fire! Aim fire! Government officials have yet to issue a statement, but Cass had this to say. An attack on me and my men is one thing. We're trained to handle these monsters. But I will not abide civilian casualties. This city deserves peace. And I promise you, London, we carry on as we are. These attacks will continue. We don't need to live like this. Scared to leave our homes. Criminals. Terrorists like these. Could be stopped before they even start. And I have a plan to do just that. Your police and politicians may have stopped fighting for you. But I will never stop. Thank you. This is what I'm talking about. Cass ought to be in charge of things. The hell he should. He's just another greedy bastard. Nigel Cass is the only one who gives a fuck about this city. Twat! Oi, break it up! Keep it civil. They're fighting here, oh, bro. Fucking hell. Tell me you lot met with my contact and he had nothing to do with this. Your man never showed up, Hamish. But come on, this was a show. It has Cass written all over it. Investigate the attack side. That controlled speech for the cameras. We have to get to that attack. Uh, that's walking far away, man. I changed myself to her. Look at this. So, let's try. This is the site where Nigel Cass was attacked, but, surprise, surprise, his personal goon squad has already scrubbed the area for evidence. They've removed every scrap of evidence at an alarmingly fast rate. Doesn't it make you at all suspicious? 
Yes, if you search for clues, I may be able to reconstruct the attack in augmented reality. You continue to impress me, Bagley. There is a CTOS data relay nearby. That will have the data I need. Consider yeah, it I'm done. I'm gonna do that. I'm just walking like this, casual walking. John Fred. Pick this up. That should do it. Go back to the location of the incident to view the reconstruction. All right, launch the AR reconstruction. This bitch again. Oh. CTOS AR data reconstruction in progress. I don't even want this in my history. What can they reconstruct? This does look like pro terrorism in the sense that it's both professional and in favor of terrorism. Well, having access to professional weaponry doesn't narrow down our search much, does it? Let's have a look around. Fuck it, let's just put it down. Fuck my health. Get this guy out. Do Finish. Boom. And there goes your neck. Let's analyze. Searching facial recognition databases and here he is, Radu Florin, an Albion employee in good standing. Until he tried to drive an exploding truck into his boss. Radu? Oh shit. Fam, that's the bloke put me on the Themis. My contact inside Albion. So we gave Cal to a He wasn't staging a false threat. Someone actually tried to kill him. What the fuck did he find to make him desperate enough to do this? Roll it, bugs. Look at that. Albion trucks with black boxes on the undercarriage, just like aeroplanes. Yes, well, let me take this. Come on. And let me also take the ETO. Where well, that's not ETO. That's the trap. Oh, that's fine, Bob. Yes, sir. Prepper. Analyze the clues from this tack. Oh, there. What is that? I can track down the black box, which should lead us to the truck's current location. Run the number plates as well, Bagley. Of course. I'll also monitor Albion communications and a thousand other little things you would appreciate. Looks like a disgruntled employee situation. Cass must have done something serious to piss this guy off. Internal conflict. Might mean some of them awaken to the truth. Think we need to scope that truck. Oh, there is a truck. According 
to Albion Radio Chatter, they've moved the truck to the Tone bombing site. And here's something even stranger. They've moved Radu Florin's body along with it. The Tone site? Why in God's name is it there? Albion has been coordinating recovery efforts at the site, which is rather vague. It's a dumping ground, isn't it? For problems they like to see disappear. If we find the truck, we find Radu. Agreed. All right. Now we have 35 tick points. Think about getting this. Oh, I need this. Mission complete. So, dudes, that's it for this video. Hope you enjoyed. Leave a like and subscribe for us. Next video, have a good day.